pretty simple. Manchester City's defence is diabolical. Um, if Pep Guardiola doesn't address it, this destination to greatness is going to have several hiccups, such as crashing out of the round of 16 in the Champions League. All credit to Monaco. They have been phenomenal. Their home form is unquestionable. Uh, Mbappe is a phenomenal talent. They'll do such a good job to keep hold of him. I think a lot of big teams will be circling the point for him. Let's talk about City for a second. Uh, you've let six goals in in two games against Monaco. That's pretty bad for a team that's considered to be world class, especially spending 40 plus million on the next big thing uh, at centre back. Nonetheless, let's minimise it to just this game. You had to hold on for 19 minutes and you're through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Something that Leicester City did against, in my opinion, a superior opponent, third placed in La Liga Sevilla. You couldn't even hold out for six minutes. You concede, again, a free header, knocked into the back of the net. And now Manchester City chasing the game once again, able to get themselves back in it from Leroy Sané. They now had to chase the game again and they go out on aggregate. Uh, to Monaco. It's it's shambolic for the money spent. It's embarrassing for Manchester City. They could not have asked for a more favourable tie. And that's, again, not a discredit to Monaco. It's just looking at the teams they could have faced. They got a decent tie. And they still are not able to get the job done. That's why Manchester City are such a long way off. A long way off. Um, to be fair to Monaco, again, they're deadly from set pieces. There really are, and another ball into the box, but it does not excuse free headers inside the box. These are simple, systematic errors that Manchester City, Manchester City are committing on a regular basis. They've done it throughout the season, inconsistent defending, embarrassing at times, and now they did it against Monaco when it matters most. And unfortunately, they crash out. But for Monaco's sake, no team will be happy to face Monaco. At this point, you have Leicester. to play the best. Leicester might be Jason Shelton behind the camera. I mean, they're still a better opponent than some of the teams they're going to have to face. But let's think about this for a second. Um, this team know what it takes to come up against adversity. They obviously conceded uh, and were on a roller coaster of a game at the Etihad. But they come back and at home they're so confident. They hit Manchester City right from the get-go. They work on the counter-attack. They're able to remain consistent at the back. And they've got Mbappe, who's a phenomenal talent. Radamel Falcao, who's rolling back the years, even though he didn't even play today. Uh, they've got some real threats in that team. So Monaco, I don't want to take anything away from their uh, run in this game. But this just summarises the, the, the sheer flaws that are in English football when it comes to the Champions League. All that money. Pep Gal, they just needed the players. All right, they got the players. They just needed the coach now. All right, they've got the coach. Where, what else is up to blame? Leicester City have proven that you don't need any of that to compete in the Champions League. What you need is a winning mentality, you need heart, you need to be hard to beat. And that's what Leicester City have done, even though I'm not really rooting He's for Leicester. saying there's a chance. I'm not rooting for Leicester yes, City. Yes, you still. are. No, we Ranieri. all are. Ranieri's team, Ranieri's legacy, yeah, he gets even the, if they go far. Yeah, he gets the... Still in my opinion. He gets all the wins, right? Um, do you finish out the season with the coach you had? You should do. You should do. So that's my two cents on this. And as for the round of 16 uh, full fixture list, let me just pull it up in the Champions League just to make sure I get all Correa, teams. Correa, Correa, what about Correa? Yes. Uh, Mr. Sit no, I'm sorry. Was the, the sitter. Uh, it was a phenomenal save. The final eight is as follows. Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Juventus, Leicester City, Monaco and Real Madrid. You, You're saying... You literally just have the best from represented from each league. <laughs> it's true. That's what, that's what it is right there. No PSG uh, in France due to their fact that they crumbled against Barcelona. Monaco flying the flag for France. Real Madrid and Barcelona. Atletico, as always, flying the flag for La Liga. Yeah. Dortmund and Bayern flying the flag for Germany. Juventus for Italy. And Leicester City flying the flag for England. Good for them. Good night.